super long, but I have more. And then I'm going to put me in. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, that is weird. It's like a steady blink. That's weird. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> that was just weird. Okay. So I got my dogs in here. Um, we got Jax, Blitz, Neptune. No cats are in here. And it's like a steady blink. Okay, take three, okay? Okay, so, <laughs> yes, I got my dogs in here with me. No cats. We are gonna do a girly haul. Don't forget to grab your snack, your coffee, your drink. Let's get into the video. Okay, where to start with first? Okay, I went to Ross, Target, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and we're gonna get into it. Why don't we start with Ross? I haven't done a Ross haul in forever. Let's just go ahead and start with that. We shall see. Okay, anyways, you guys, I'm just gonna turn off that light because it's still doing that. Okay, no light in the background is fine so i have not done a ross haul in a while a matter of fact i haven't done a ross or a girly haul and it seems like in a couple weeks right or even a thrift haul i need to go thrifting i haven't done that i've been sick for the past like week and a half two weeks so i'm barely getting back to filming you can still hear my voice is kind of deep but um i miss filming for you guys so yeah let's go ahead and dig into the ross haul first I, you know, I love Juicy Couture. I keep saying that over and over, but every time I go to Ross, I always go towards or gravitate towards Juicy Couture items because I know that they're bound to have new items, whether if it's makeup bags, jewelry, clutches, purses, uh, towels, bath essentials. You know, they have like so much Juicy Couture in like every department in Ross. So I like to go, as I say, scavenger hunting in the stores, you know, just to see what I can find, what new stuff I can find, you know. I don't have this solid color wristlet. I just love the overall just aesthetic of, guys, these are regular $45 and I got this for $10.99. How cheap is that, right? Like the detail is beautiful. I love the gold zipper. I just love the overall design and this is pretty large too if you're looking for something like this they always have them in all brands at ross so yeah go check out your ross if you want something like that another juicy couture little wallet i found was this one so i do have two purses a small and large that's this print so i got this one and you're gonna see in a little bit i got the bigger wallet too from another store but yeah this one was 9.99 and i just love how like it's it's faux leather but it's it's just it feels like real leather it's just good quality the stitching on these items are fantastic i love the imprint on this design and that's the thing about jc brands is that there's so many types of designs shades of pinks all color even like the tassels and this kind of stuff, they're all different. So I think that's what's so cool and innovative about Juicy Couture is that the design, the the um, artistic ability, <laughs> you know, that they put into their products. So I just love it. Yeah. And this regular price was $35. And then, you know what? Hold on. What do I have in this bag? Let me get this one out of the way. So... You can always find beautiful little blankets. These are like a fleece, kind of like real, like cozy blankets. 
And this one is from the brand Bounce House. And this was in the toddler, the kids section. It's 50 by 60. It's 100% polyester and only $8.99. Like that is so, so cheap. And I love how it kind of looks like a cotton candy theme, you know, like print on it. Just love it. Yeah. And then I um, went to the clothing section and you guys, I found this Juicy Couture pajama set. I just, I don't own any bottoms like these. So this came in a set for $16.99. That is so, so inexpensive for Juicy Couture. I am telling you, when I see a new little set like this, I am going to pick it up. The bottom has that cinched ankle. The material is very, very stretchy, very stretchy, very comfy. It falls. These aren't too, too warm. These are a thinner material, but I just love the comfortability of these pajamas. And I love the elastic band. It's pretty thick. It's about an inch and a half and it's very stretchy as well. It's not that elastic that's very like tight elastic. Um, it does have a lot of give to it. So, and then the shirt is gonna be like this. So it just says Juicy Couture in three different fonts or two of the same fonts and one different in the middle. The regular price of this is 42. And like I said, I got it for 16. I just love the material. It is so soft. And yeah, if y'all see these, definitely pick it up, especially if you're like really girly and into pink. And yeah, I just, I totally recommend another find. So this was another two piece I found. I love how it's gray. It's kind of like that heathered gray. My husband's returning, the dogs are gonna bark, watch, watch. But it's it has pink, like a very pastel pink tie right here. And the top is like this. I think it's so, so pretty. I love the fact that the lining is that very, very pale pink that I love. And then the bottoms of these pants are wide leg. I'm not so much into the wide leg versus the ankle cinched leg, you know what I mean? But I just couldn't pass up how comfortable this was. This brand is CNC California. <coughs> Told you. Okay, so where was I at? So yes, I do love the fact that it does have these pink lining to it. Overall, this is so, so pretty. Okay, so moving on to another thing. I don't go too much to the clothing section, but these were like kind of like at the end cap. So I spotted these and I love the little cute design of these sweatpants. So they do have little pastel lightning bolts, stars, hearts you see that on a dark gray sweat they do have pockets and then a tie right here but you guys these are so cute the bottom does have a cinch and i like the fact that these are like extra long i do have like long legs so this is gonna work so so pretty 6.99 what so here's the brand I couldn't beat, I bought me two of them. So I've already used one and then these ones I wanted to leave with the tag on it to show you, but these are so comfortable. What's next, what's next? Okay, I went to the like essential, the self-care and jewelry area. So I spotted this and I got me two of these. I already used one. These are fixed. They do have some that come out. So this is uh, like, a, like a palette organizer has eight compartments um, for storing eyeshadows and other makeup palettes. So this is how it looks. And these were $9.99. They brought out tons of these. I think $9.99 is a great price. I think the cheapest one I've seen on Amazon is like $12.99 when it goes on sale, but they're normally like $18.99 on up. To get this for $9.99, it, it was a steal. Great organizers for makeup palettes, that's for sure. And then I picked up this one. I remember this cake. Uh, they sell this one at Ulta. I've owned this before and I do like these products. Um, they smell so, so good. So this one's called the Locksmith. It's hydrating dry conditioner. It's not necessarily a dry shampoo. I don't really know what the difference is, but um, 
yeah i just was intrigued by this this was for 4.99 and then I'm always looking for new makeup wipes. I use them every day, even for swatches and stuff. So I found these Bloom and Field. I've never seen this brand. It says it's hydrating watermelon. And you guys, this feels so, like you could tell there's a lot of moisture within this pack. So these are uh, scented with watermelon, which I love that. I think that's gonna be so refreshing on the face, you know? And yeah, it's just very cold because it's so like liquid in, in there, you know? So it's gonna be very, very hydrating for the face. I could tell. So and that one was $3.99. Another item that was $3.99 was this Florence by Mills lip gloss. I think it's a lip gloss. Yeah. But look how beautiful the packaging of this is. It's kind of like a lilac color cap. And then you have this iridescent lip gloss there. This one's obviously clear, but it's supposed to have, I don't know if you could see that holographic hint to the color. You see that? It's just beautiful. I think it's going to look so, so well. Like, I think this is good. You can pull this off just on your regular lip color. No liner, no nothing. It'll make it look just kind of like pouty. And I think it'll just make your natural lips look really good. So very excited to try this. Another makeup item that I did pick up. This was such a fun find. So this is from Lime Crime, the Body Light. Creamy Body Highlight. This one's in the shade Enchantress. Look, if there was more colors, I definitely would have bought them. $3.49. That is a steal. How crazy is that, right? Let's swatch it. And not to mention, they have a lot of other Lime Crime, like makeup palettes, makeup quads, uh, um, eye shimmers and stuff like that. But let's see. Wow, this just glides on the skin so effortlessly, beautifully. It's like a thin consistency too. It's not very thick at all. It gives a good gloss to the, the skin. I think it's going to be beautiful for the body. Yeah, I just, I'm so, so excited to use this. Okay, so next I went to the jewelry section and I did pick these. I like Guess products too, but I find that the gold on these Guess jewelry are not as yellowy gold as the Juicy Couture jewelry, gold jewelry. These are more like a less shiny version of a gold. I don't know. But regardless, I think these were so cute. So this one was $8.99 and it's a um, dangle bracelet. I, I just love how it looks. I think these right here make bracelet more fixed. It's not as um, loose. I, I'm so excited to use both of these anyway. So this one was $7.99 while this one was $8.99. But I just love the simplicity of these little bracelets. I think it's going to be like if you want to dress up a plain black top, you know, um, a white top, a gray top. I think these you can just pull it off with a simple t-shirt and jean look. That's the reason why I bought these. I think it's gonna go real cute with those kinds of outfits. It's gonna go cute with even sandals. You can dress these up, dress these down because it's so simple. All right, next, next, next. Are we done with the Ross? Are we done with the Ross? Yes, now we're gonna go to Home Goods. So let me show you this one first. I'm having to reach down here. So I've been into these kind of bags lately. So this one was $29.99 and this is by the brand um Isaac this brand and you always see this brand there at Home Goods, Ross, TJ. This brand is always there. They sell different kinds of products. I've just been into these kind of poofed I forget what the the style of this is. Kind of like a windbreaker kind of you know like those poofy jackets that were once like in style like 10 years ago or something like that. I like this a lot. It has a long strap, which these straps are removable. And then you do have this keychain here. You got the zipper, you got another pull. I mean, this is pretty cool for travel, that's for sure. So you have a built-in divider in here. And I love the fact that the inside is kind of like a, like a rosy, like a dusty rose interior. And it has zippers on the sides. Look, 
It has zippers on the sides. It has pouches on the side. So definitely a lot of storage compartments in here. So if you're looking for a bag like this, they have a lot of them out there and different brands. And I love the fact that it has an insulated little bag right here. I don't know if it's for a soda or just you can put anything you want in there, but there is a little extra bag attached to this. Oh, you can actually attach this strap to this. Look, it has two little, two hardware things right here that you can attach the strap to. So if you want to carry it like a, like a crossbody or something, I don't know. That's pretty cool. It is sporty in a way. So I love that. And I love the fact that this isn't too large because they do sell some large, large bags like this. This one is more like a medium sized. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I found this Hello Kitty little hand lotion. This is so, so cute. This is in collab with the Creme Shop. The Creme Shop has a lot of uh, Kawaii Sanrio collabs with their brand. And this is the Shea Butter and Vitamin E scent Kawaii Peach. So this one was $5.99. Look how cute it is too. And they had a lot of these out there. I should have got one more, but look how cute this is, right? I just love it. Oh, stuff like that is so cute. And then I picked up two. Let me see. Do I only have two? Do I only have two? Okay, two makeup brushes. So this one is essential in my everyday shadow look routine. So this is a Morphe M456. And this was only $2.99, you guys. They have a lot of Morphe brushes. Sometimes they even bring Sigma brushes too. TJ Maxx, but definitely these goat hair ones I really, really love for blending out your darker colors, your more prominent colors in your shadow palette at the outer edge. That's what I really love these goat hair bristle ones for. So there's that one. And then for $1.99, I picked up this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe eyeshadow small shader brush. This is also like essential. This one, you can pack more of your eyeshadow color on your eyelid. $1.99, you cannot beat it. And then here's that other one I was talking about. I got the big wallet. So yeah, earlier I showed you this wallet. Now I got the big one as well. So I got one for each of the purses that I do have. I love this. This is only $12.99. And just like I said, I mean, what more can I say? The quality on this are so great, so beautiful. Yeah, I just love it. There's a close up. Then I got some makeup palettes, you guys. These are beautiful. So of course we got Cara Beauty. So this is a new one that I spotted there. I collect every Cara Beauty palette that I see. If it's new, I am definitely gonna pick it up. I love Cara Beauty palettes. I've said it time and time again. They're just beautiful. $7.99, you cannot beat it. The packaging is beautifully presented on every product. You can tell their design team is just so creative. And they have that artistic ability to create this beautiful looking design on their palettes. It's just amazing. So this one is Dare to be Shocking palette. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? Let's swatch some. So we got this dark blue, this purplish green. I'm telling you, oh, look at the colors. What? I will always rave about Cara Beauty palettes. I will always, it's crazy. They blend so well, they're not patchy. Yeah, love it. Oh my gosh, I got all of these large eyeshadow palettes from Rude Cosmetics. They're so adorable, so adorable. So these are $12.99 a piece and they just put all of these out. Okay, so we're gonna start with these first. So man, these are just, they remind me of the 70s, which I think that's what they were going for. So these are 35 pressed pigments and shadows. So this one's more of like a lilac pinkish kind of packaging. They look like magazines. I just think that they're so fun. They're funner than Morphe. That's what I would say. So this is how it looks. The colors are in the back. I don't know how the quality of these are gonna be, but I just wanted them for the collector in me. 
check that out. So let's swatch a couple of these. Let's see. Ooh, nice and ooh, okay, wow. Look how fun and girly that is. Not bad, that is so fun. That teal one right there, that one's beautiful. Look at that gold one when it hits the light. So this one is a topper, like you have to like pat it in with your finger. So you gotta be careful with those too. Like I said, I just purchased them for the collector in me. And if you like fun stuff like this, you would really appreciate the design of these palettes. Next is gonna be this one. This one's more of a natural earth tone palette. Ooh, I love this one. Oh, and this one's beautiful too. And then that red one. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh yeah, that blue one is pretty. Look at that. Very pigmented. This one is more pigmented than that florist one. Next is this. Here, hold on. Let me move some stuff around. Okay, so this one is the book 2A and then the book 2B. See right there? Let's see how this one looks. Oh, that's cute how it has like a table of contents right here. I love the color story in this one. It's very eye-catching. So these are more of your pastel tones. Love it. You know, all these paired together, that's gonna make a beautiful look. Last but not least is gonna be this one, the book 2B. Look at how pretty it looks. And then this is the color story. So this one is definitely more neutral tones versus the other one. This yellow one is looking real pretty. Pink, ooh. Man, the metallic shades are beautiful. Wow, even the pigments on this one of the matte shades, those are beautiful as well. This one's different, you see that? Look at that one, that is gorgeous. Makeup products are so fun. I feel like I'm in Candyland, like the game. <laughs> then I found this. So this was for $9.99 and it is a Ray Dunn clear makeup um, pouch. I'm not pouch, uh, makeup bag. Oh my gosh, I'm saying makeup pouch, makeup bag. So this one says glam, this one says get cute. I think it's so cute and it has like a pink lining. That's why I gravitated towards this. So this was only, like I said, $9.99. Look how fun, look at the little one. You can see exactly what you have packed away. These are great for travel. So, so cute. Okay, so moving on to Target. So yes, I did go to Target. I picked up not too many items and I found Yes, you guys, I found the Hello Kitty and I got me a couple of items from the Hello Kitty collab with Pixie. So the first one I got is this one. So this is the Chrome Glow Palette. Look how cute. I mean, there's not much to it. It just has this little thing of Hello Kitty. I wish it would have been more of a solid looking um, design on the makeup palette, but uh. These are your colors. These are usually what Pixie sells, this kinds of tones and stuff. So there's, there's not much of a difference to this collab versus your traditional Pixie products. So I wish they would have kind of like gravitated outside the box for their design, their artistry on this collab, but it's okay. Wow. Of course, you're gonna have beautiful swatched pigments Pixie, I have always loved and I always will. Their quality and their products and their eyeshadow products, their face products, I just love. You can use some of those as highlighters too. Then this is the one I was really excited for. So this one is called Harmony Hues. It just has that. I wish there was a little bit more design to it, but look how cute. I love the embossing of the Hello Kitty here at the bottom three shades. And I wish that there was more of pastel colors in this. I don't feel that this brought out the Hello Kitty collab in this palette. Do you know what I'm talking about? I just, 
This reminds me of like a Grand Canyon collab, not a Hello Kitty collab. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and swatch. Again, I am not surprised. These are beautiful quality. Yeah, check out the quality of that. Beautiful. And then check out the swatches of this too. Yeah, I love, love, love the fact that Pixie has a thin a formula in their shadow palettes and their highlighting palettes. Any of their makeup products, it's a thin formula, even like their lippies and stuff. I did not realize that Target sold Essence. So this one is in the shade 10 Befitting from the blush line. They had one more. The other one was um, brighter, but there it is. This one's more like a natural tone, very pretty. Essence products are amazing for the price. Essence products have a great price point for the quality of the product. I mean, beautiful finish. These blend so effortlessly and it's kind of like airbrushed on the cheek. So I cannot wait to try it. I've owned Essence blushes in the past, which I loved. So this one is new to me. This is Restore and Renew Multi Action Serum Foundation. I gravitated towards where it said serum foundation. I am liking more of a thin finish on my face now that I'm getting a little older. And I find that it reduces the look of my fine lines and stuff. It, it kind of like hides it in a way if you use a serum foundation or a thinner consistency. But yeah, I wanted to try this one out. These are a little bit pricey, I'm not gonna lie. But number seven is a great brand. As you can tell, it's like serum -y. So, and they do have a matte one as well. So that one was in cool vanilla. Anyways, you guys, that is it for my girly shopping haul. I do hope that you enjoyed this. I just like to accumulate a lot of items and then present it to you and show you, you know, what's new at the stores. So if you really enjoy this video, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And yes, thanks again so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.